Pastor Dwayne asked us to talk about relationships this morning for Mother's Day. And um, I brought an expert group with me. <laughs> They've all gone through launch. They're wise women. And we're not all mothers, but we are all daughters. And we are all in relationships, whether with parents, whether with friends, whether with co-workers. Everywhere you go, there is a relationship happening. Mm -hmm. And I think we have... All of us have something to bring to the table. All of us can bring some wisdom that we can learn from each other. And mm -hmm. so that's why I've invited them all to be with me. So I'll just introduce them, Lau and Yadil. Uh, sorry, Yadil and Lau. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but Fabienne is a student from Launch that's mm -hmm. with us for a while. She's from Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So we're really glad to have her with us as well. So let's see. Yeah, do you want to start? Yeah. So something that I've been learning a lot um, over the last few months um, regarding relationships is to be open and honest with how you're mm -hmm. feeling and your needs and and kind of what you want from the other person. And that doesn't mean you force what you want onto the other person, but just to be able to communicate that. And also, like naturally, it's going to be different with whatever relationship this is regarding, with the different levels of, of like closeness with the person, how um, honest and deep you're going to get. But just to, to be honest with what your wants and needs are in a relationship mm -hmm. and with um, what you're feeling and things like that. Yeah. yeah, and we all have a voice in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one can be. No one mm -hmm. can be forced to not have a voice in a relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can. I think I can add something there as well. I think to be a good friend when you are with your close friends, it can also mean mm -hmm. that when you're a good friend, that you say that uncomfortable things are the things yeah. that yeah. the other don't really likes to hear it, mm -hmm. but. I think also in a friendship, it means to to stand up and that the other person is enough important that you that you're honest with with your friend. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like one phrase that um, I've been referring to a lot is that clear is kind. So clear communication, even if it's hard or uncomfortable, it's mm -hmm. the kind thing to do. Yeah. yeah. And if we don't bring honesty, we don't allow the other person growth, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So you can't let people be comfortable their whole lives because you grow where it's uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so on a bit of a different note, um, I would talk about forgiveness. And mm -hmm. sometimes I think we wait for other people to apologize, but sometimes yeah. we need to forgive people without um, getting an apology from them mm -hmm. um, for ourselves and for them. Yeah. And since it's Mother's Day, something my mom always said to us that is that unforgiveness is like holding a hot coal and expecting it to burn the other person, but it's yeah. only burning yourself when yeah. you hang on to unforgiveness yeah. and bitterness. Mm -hmm. And so we need to to learn to forgive and to not be bitter in all sorts of relationships. And yeah. sometimes it starts over something small and grows. Um, mm -hmm. And then just to remember to be gracious with ourselves too when yeah. we're working through that process because if you use the analogy mm -hmm. of a hot coal when you let go of the coal you're still going to have a wound there and you need to work to work through that and mm -hmm. um, get those things healed but if yeah. we want to have healthy relationships even with others that we haven't been upset with then we need to mm -hmm. be sure to forgive quickly and yeah. not get to that point where we're too bitter to have healthy relationships mm -hmm. yeah. and allow before i introduce mm -hmm. you um i think mothers want to be perfect mm -hmm. but mothers cannot be perfect yeah um no one can be perfect god can be perfect but but we as human beings cannot be perfect in relationships so we will hurt each other mm -hmm. and i'm going to be really honest here i've hurt lyle in her life with things mm -hmm. and um mm -hmm. We've had to work through that. Mm -hmm. I had to, I had to get her forgiveness, so I had mm -hmm. to ask her for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. But I also had to forgive myself yeah. for not mm -hmm. being the perfect mother that I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. And um, and Lyle has been really gracious in forgiving me. Mm -hmm. And um, and I think we need to realize that that there's there's always this in a relationship where 
we've all hurt each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I think that's we don't want to, but we do that. Mm -hmm. And we need to know that there can be growth from there. Oh, yeah, and maybe yeah. you can just share your side of that. Yeah, I think it's just so important that um, we realize that people are always going to disappoint us and um, that there is no perfect people out there. There's no there's no perfect mom. There's no perfect dad. There is no no perfect family. And then from that place, it's just to seek to understand before you seek to be understood and just have that graciousness and just trusting that God has has you first and to fully satisfy yourself in him. And trusting him first and foremost to be the part that that satisfies you and gives you contentment in life and that that's the place you have to get all of these other things from and move from is this first i'm satisfied in christ and first i'm satisfied and whole in god and then i think from that place it would just also just be this reminder that through grace and forgiveness and through walking so closely with jesus that there's nothing that can't be restored that God is in this beautiful business of redemption and making whole again what was broken. And I just often, so often think of um, like the moments of creation where there was this dark nothingness all around the world and um, there was just nothing and how God looked at that and said, oh my goodness, I can make something so beautiful out of this. And when he looked on, on the earth and he saw the dust and he says, I can make Adam out of this. and how he walked um, through this valley of dry bones with Ezekiel and said, I can make such a beautiful and extraordinary army out of these dry bones. And how he says he makes beauty out of ashes. I think it's just so important for everybody to remember that, um, yeah, that there's nothing God can't redeem, that there's no place through grace and, and healing and forgiveness that he can't restore. And that that's such a beautiful process to walk on with him and just to know his heart through that and that journey of walking with him through all of that, I think it's so important just to walk in communion with God and, and all of the, the journeying and relationships in general. It's just the first being communion with God. Yeah, and if we can walk with people like Jesus walked with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just read in, in, in um in Luke again this week where Jesus comes back to his disciples after the crucifixion. And um he comes back to them and he knows they didn't follow him. He knows they didn't pray with him. He knows they tried to run away. Mm -hmm. He knows Peter didn't acknowledge him. He knows Judas um, betrayed him. And he comes to them and the first thing he says is peace be with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that to me is so, so beautiful. If we can come into relationships and say, I know what you did. Mm -hmm. I know what you did. Yeah. But peace be with you. Yeah. And then to work from there. Yeah. yeah. But this sounds really, really serious. Mm -hmm. I just want to read you a scripture, and it's a mm -hmm. beautiful scripture. I'm going to read it out of the Passion Translation. It's Proverbs 8 from verse 30, and it's Jesus speaking. I was there, close to the Creator's side, as his master artist. Daily he was filled with delight in me. As I playfully rejoiced mm -hmm. before him, I laughed and played so happy with what he had made while finding my delight in the children of men mm -hmm. so relationships are not just serious yeah. they can be fun 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 mm -hmm. and and i think we need to maintain that a little bit yeah. because sometimes we get so focused on the bad or the serious or what we have to do but we need to learn to play more yeah thank you and have a happy mm -hmm. mother's day Oh, <laughs> <laughs>